Hello viewers, you are about to watch a series called Gorsham Rants or Garants where I rant about things typically that make me angry or bother me in some way. They often feature adult language and cover adult concepts and nothing is truly off limits. So you may be offended, you may be hurt, you may be any emotion that you consider to be unpleasant as a result of watching this video. If you have an issue with anything I just said, feel free to get them off of my video right now. You have been warned. Still here? Good. Let's begin. Today's Garant is requested by Wolfgirl0927, who does not like fashion over function. So today's Garant is going to be about fashion over function. I appreciate, both men and women, that you want to look good. Believe me, I understand. Everybody wants to look good. There's nobody out there going, My goodness, I hope I look terrible today. That would be the highlight of my world. I go out and somebody just recoils in horror. They drop their baby. The baby starts crying. They run away. Then I have to pick up the baby, which makes the baby cry even more. And it's like, Oh my goodness, why are you crying? What's going on? And the baby's just freaking out because I'm holding it. And the police come. They're like, What are you doing to that baby? And everything's crazy. And I'm just ranting. Okay, so, anyways, point being, Fashion over function is stupid. Like I said, I appreciate you want to look good, but function is more important. You can't be sitting there in like 20 degree weather. Okay, I'm talking Fahrenheit here, not Celsius. But like, you can't be sitting there in 20 degree weather in short shorts that show off everything. I, I just don't understand that mentality. It's like, oh, well, I would like to put on clothes, but then the guys couldn't see my vagina. It's like, look, if you don't put on clothes, it's going to freeze shut. Do you want that to happen? Because I guarantee you no man's interested in frozen vagina. And a vegetable. Trust me, it's cold, it hurts, and your tongue gets stuck to it. So put on some clothes. You know, that's not to say that, that women are the only ones that do this. Guys do this, too. Except the difference being guys don't do it as often with clothing. It is typically with their stuff. Ladies, you know what I'm talking about if you've ever dated a guy. You know how he's always messing with this stuff, and he always messes it up. Especially his car. Especially his car. He's always throwing random crap on there, like huge spoilers. I didn't want to see out the back of the car anyway. That weird rising thing in front. Who wants to see out the front of the car? They're just It's like, if you have to throw so much stuff onto your car that you cannot see where you're going, then your car needs to be one that does not go anywhere. Because believe me, most of you idiots drive bad enough already without throwing everything you possibly can in front of yourself so you can't see the little kid crossing the street that you are about to run over. You know, another one is girls with glasses. Now, let me be the first to say a lot of guys like girls with glasses. But it seems that women don't actually like to wear their glasses. <laughs> like, in class. In class, they'll be saying they're like, I can't read the board. It's like, put on your freaking glasses. I know you have a pair. It's like, yes, but it doesn't go with my outfit, so I can't. And besides, I've never had to see anything more than a couple inches in front of my face before. If anyone does not understand what I'm talking about when I say that, you're probably too young to be watching this. This one bugs me, too, and my parents used to do it, so I think that it's part of what gets to me. Is on your bed. All right. Have you ever met people with a bed? Who, well, obviously you met someone with a bed. I'm not done yet. Have you ever met people with a bed who have, like, 20 pillows on it, but they never actually use them? Because every night, it's like, okay, we're going to bed. Take this pillow off, take this pillow off, take this pillow off. Why do you put 20 pillows on the bed if you're not going to use There's no perp. Oh, my brain. Look, there's no point in decorative pillows. It's stupid. Who's going to be coming in and seeing your bedroom? It's like, oh, hey, Tom, you want to come see my room? The hubby's out. Come on. If you're doing that kind of thing, then you probably don't care about fashion anyway. You don't really have standards. So just take the frickin' pillows off the bed, or sleep on all 20 of them. But make up your mind, because it's annoying. And yes, 20 might be an exaggeration of a number, but still, come on. And, you know, I appreciate that high heels look nice, they look fancy, yada yada, but there's a limit to these things. I have seen some crazy designs for high heels that can't even be called high heels, so just a heel and some straps. How do you expect to walk around in that? I don't care if you look nice. If you fall down, break your face on the pavement, you don't look nice anymore. Make sure you can freaking walk in your clothes, okay? So to finish this off, we're going to talk about my personal favorite. And by personal favorite, I mean the one that annoys me the most. And it may be a little bit of a stretch of fashion versus function, but if you think about it, it will make perfect sense. Now there are many, 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 many women that do this. Are there guys that do it as well? Possibly. I don't know. I have not met any. But I can tell you there are countless women that do it, and it drives me insane. Basically, they will be like, well, why doesn't a guy like me for my mind? 
why doesn't the guy like me for my personality or this or that? And they go out dressed in basically a bra, a bra and panties. Uh, or they've got a shirt that says, I blow so good. And they're like, I don't understand why guys see me as a sex object. And I go, well, maybe if you stop dressing like the equivalent of a bathroom stall that has a bunch of names saying, I was here, the guys would look past your body and into something more important. And when I say into something more important, I don't mean the vagina where you stuff everything you meet into. Now, there's been a lot of a lot of hate on women so far for this Garand, and that's not because I have any particular issue with them. I'm not sexist. I actually hate everybody pretty equally. It's just the thing is, there are some issues that are more specific to women that are, than are more specific to men. Like, if you talk about not wanting to use condoms, that's an issue more specific to men than it is to women. You can't make a long Garand about women who just refuse to use condoms, because it's just, it's not a thing. And it's the same it's kind of the same issue with fashion over function here. Guys don't do it a lot. There's a couple instances. I talked about one so far. That was the car. There's one more I can think of. And that, and I just discovered this recently, and I, I would not believe it if I didn't see it. Bulletproof fashion. That's right. For whatever reason, guys are getting into their head lately. It's like, I want to have a bulletproof vest, but it has to look good. I don't want any old shabby bulletproof vest. I want something that is stylish. You know what kind of bulletproof vest I want? I want a bulletproof vest that is going to stop bullets. I don't want one that shows off my midriff so I can get shot in it. The, the concept, the idea that you would need a bulletproof vest, I think illustrates the fact that it is important for you to have one that actually covers your body and is thick enough to stop someone trying to kill you. It's not like, yay, I need a bulletproof vest because people are out to assassinate me. I'm going to go to a club with a bunch of random people all dancing and no one can pay attention to anyone where an assassin could easily sneak up on me and I'm just going to wear this flimsy little thing that is not going to stop the slightest love tap. So you really need to make a choice. Do you want to be alive and not looking so fashionable or do you want to be dead, have 20 bullet holes in you and look incredibly not fashionable? I think I would choose being alive, honestly. I'd rather be alive and look bad than dead and looking bullety. Because, oh, help me God, if I ever need to get bodyguards for one reason or another, and one of them walks up to me in a bulletproof belly shirt that says, I love Twilight, I will be the first one to shoot you. You don't even have to wait until my assassins come. I will do it myself. So my name is Gorsham. I think the idea of fashion over function is stupid, and this has been a garant.